<laughs> You're gonna get me to fucking fall. Oh, for sure. So today we're gonna do a challenge that might make you a little upset. Uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously? Is it a try not to get mad challenge? Nope. What? What is it? It's a try not to cry challenge. Oh, try not to cry. Man, it's hard to get me to cry, man. I cry so easily. I always cry. Where's the tissues? So after each video, whether it made you cry or not, we're gonna have you rate it on a scale of one to five based on how emotional you thought it was. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Let's cry. Or try not to cry. Have you ever wished for someone to be out of your life? This one made me cry the first time I watched it. Dang. Ooh, embarrassed her at the club. Mm. Oh, shit. That I wanted her to die, that is so, that's such a strong statement. No. Oh my god. She's so young to have cancer. Oh shit, this got real fast. Oh. I will probably cry after this. Oh, so sad. Oh no. So sad. Oh no. Ooh, it's emotional. I told you I'm gonna be the biggest loser. <laughs> That's sad. That's really sad. Oh. Oh, now she takes care of her. It's a good thing for anything in life. Just like never take your family for granted. I love sibling videos. It does get me every time. I wanna cry! That was sad, but I've seen it before, so it didn't make me cry. It's definitely sad. I could definitely relate. Cause like I have brothers, I mean, we fight all the time. Sometimes we'll go like weeks without talking to each other. But like anything happens to them, we're always there for each other. Where would you rate this on the emotional scale? I'll say two. That's a two. It didn't get me that crazy, yeah. you know? I'm gonna say a two. Three. It didn't make me cry. Because this is the first clip that I saw, I'm gonna just give it like a, a three. I'd give it a four, because like, I just, I definitely related a lot. Four, because one didn't actually completely fall. It didn't make me sad. Some of the, the imagery was a little depressing. I'd give it like a two. Five, <laughs> obviously. Five. Yeah, very emotional. That's the first time she felt love from her sister at that time and her sister accepted it. Put this at a four. You just kind of grow up thinking you hate your siblings and then there comes a moment in your life where shit gets real and you realize like, hey, that's family. I promised Trigger that we'd leave our keys. Oh, okay. Oh, friends. No, not the finale. Come on. Oh, is it the one where they leave their apartment? <laughs> oh, I hated this part where they all dropped their keys. No. I've never watched Friends, so I'm immediate. You know I'm gonna give this a one. <laughs> <laughs> they all got a key. Freaking Joey, he ruined it for me. I guess this is it. Yeah. I guess so. Man. This is harder than I thought it would be. Aww. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Okay, should we get some coffee? Sure. Where? <laughs> no. That was their life. Was it the last episode of Friends? Oh, okay, I remember seeing that one. It's probably a one. I love Friends, but I'll give that a one. One. That's a one! Why are they acting like they can't still be friends when they f***ing move? Two. It wasn't that sad. I mean, maybe if I watch the show, it'd be a little sadder. I would give that one 
a one. I'm gonna give it a one. I've seen this episode before, and I kind of knew what was gonna happen. I already went through the crazy emotional stage of that. That was a one. A three. I never really sat down and like watched it back to back and like watched every single episode, I think. So like, I, I feel like it didn't get to me like that. One. Give it a three. It's sad because it's just such the end of an era, but it's it's not sad like depressing. It's It's sad like, it's acceptance. We're missing someone pretty important this evening. Oh, wedding stuff. Oh, not wedding things. Wedding things are always dance. sad. We're missing someone pretty important this evening that would be obviously here for the dance with his little girl. So, she missed her um, dad, right? I decided yeah, I to her do dad's not there. I decided I wanted to do something special for Andrea. Um, and not only for Andrea, but for dad, knowing that dad would be you know, elated to be here with uh -huh. us today. The song Butterfly Kisses um, that that Kristen danced with dad at her wedding to. Um, I had the idea that I would, uh, because of some conversations with Andrew before, I would record it and sing it for her. Aww. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so sad. Uh, when I was little, I did a daddy-daughter dance and this is the song we did. It's so cute. Aww. There's two things I know for sure. She was sent here from heaven, and she's daddy's little girl. I'm not crying, you're crying. To my knees by her bed. This song just makes anyone cry. For butterfly <laughs> kisses, after bedtime prayer, sticking little white flowers. This isn't really that sad to me. Maybe because there's no like background, I don't know like these people. Everybody in the back like tearing up and shit too. That's wild. Dad would feel like he's losing his little girl. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. That's deep. Wow. That's just like such a human example of love. My grandpa was like my father figure. <laughs> it's just sad because he passed away um, last year. And every time like I think about my wedding, I would think like I, I more than likely was gonna dance with my grandpa. No, I would give it a three. One. I feel really heartless right now. I'll say two. Probably a three. Three. It's pretty pretty well leveled stuff. Four, that's pretty powerful. That's a five. <laughs> I'd have to say five. I mean that one really got me more. Four. Four. Because it, it's the closest one to getting me so far. That one deserved a four, but I cannot give it a five yet because I didn't actually cry. <laughs> In 1924, Hidesburo Ueno, a professor in the agriculture department of the University of Tokyo, took in Hachiko, a golden brown Akita, as a pet during his owner's life. It's about that Shiba! Oh my gosh, is this the is this the puppy one? I'm gonna cry more! Aww. Aww. So cute. Hachiko greeted him at the end of each day at the nearby Shibuya station. The pair continued their daily routine until May 1925 when Professor Unio did not return. The professor had suffered from a cerebral hemorrhage and died, never returning to the train station where Hachiko was waiting. Every day for the next nine years, Nine years the dog waited at the station? Oh, I'm so sad. Hachiko attracted the attention of other commuters. Initial reactions from the people, especially from those working at the station, were not necessarily friendly. Aw, how can you not be friendly? <laughs> You're gonna get me to fucking fall. However, after the first appearance of the article about him on October 4th, 1932, Ashahi Shimbone people started to bring Hachiko treats and food to nourish him during his wait. This continued for 10 years with Hachiko appearing precisely when the train was due at the station. Dogs are better than people. Damn. That's deep. Wow. The dog waited! I... Come on! Akino died in March 8th, 1935 and was found on the street, oh, I'm sorry. In March 2011, scientists settled the cause of death of Chico. The dog had terminal cancer. Hachiko's theft and mounted remains are kept at the National Science Museum of Japan in Yuno, Tokyo. That's so sad. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> in April 1934, a bronze statue in his likeness. Oh, I know what the statue is now. I've s actually seen it. In April 1934, a bronze statue in his likeness was erected at Shibuya Station. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. I'm gonna cry. Okay. <sighs> you know, they say that a dog is the best friend for a human, yeah. 
Uh-huh. That, that was sad. It's a really famous story in Japan. There was a book that came out. There was a Richard Gere movie. So there was actually a movie made about Hachi. Oh, really? Oh, wow. And we have a scene from it to show you now. Really? Oh, sweet. Okay, okay. Hi, Hachi. Hi, Hachi. Hi, Hachi. He's so cute. He's so fluffy. He's like a little bear dog. I would definitely cry so bad if I watched this movie. I saw this movie on a plane, and I remember I was bawling, and everyone was like, what's wrong with her? Oh, he's so cute. How did they get him to do that? Just, just look sad. What a good boy! There are no tears, but I am crying on the inside. <laughs> Did I win the challenge? So finally, where do you rank that one? I'll say it's like a three. I'll give it a four. Four. Five. Dogs. They're the weak spot of everybody. Four. My eyes were like about to tear up. Three. I can't help thinking about that poor puppy. Five for me. I have to say five. Four. That was the saddest thing I've seen so far. Probably a five. Definitely a five. I, I have a soft spot for dogs. So you cried. I knew I'd cry. I didn't. I kind of lost myself for a little bit. I cried a little more than I expected. I cry on the simplest thing. So, you know, I, I'm kind of not shocked that much. It's okay. It helps sometimes. I think crying is really important. Just like that saying of how um, a dog is part of your life, <laughs> but you're a part, you're a dog's whole life. Just like, really gets to me. So none of these videos got you to cry. What do you think that says about you? <laughs> I'm an ice queen. I know I'm not a heartless piece of shit, okay? I know I have a heart. Just because I think they were so short, weren't able to get at it. I am a masculine individual that doesn't allow myself to feel emotions on the outside, but on the inside, I'm literally about to pass out from tears and I hate you, you've ruined my day. Thank you for watching this episode of Adults React and thank you to Sergio Santana for watching. Subscribe if you'd like a shout out like Neil Omangi. Come say hi in the comments if you want a shout out like Angel Panga. JC here, thanks so much for crying with us. We're down in the comments in the first 30 minutes of every episode that goes live. So leave us a comment, you might be featured on the show.